Okay, I'm back for part two. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Short E from Philly. And I'm installing the Innofader PMP2 into my Denon X1800 Prime Mixer because I broke my crossfader. So I'm replacing a crossfader. Um, so basically, what you have is two wires I connect together. This particular piece. And this particular piece, the smaller one, goes to the innovator. So let's connect it to the mixer first. Wait, oh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be showing you all that. I'm sorry. It's right here, and it's like a you'll see it when you take it apart, of course. So you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I tried to do it upside down, my bad. Uh, boom. And you push it with your fingers to make sure it's locked in. Basically, it's sliding that way. Not downwards, that way. And then you just push it to lock it in. Okay, so I have this wire coming out of the mixer to the jumper. And the jumper goes to the innovator. So, let me plug that in. Hopefully I'm once again not doing it upside down, which I am. I think. No? Why not? Good. <sighs> As y'all can see, I don't do this often, and that's probably why I'm messing up. Okay, I did have it upside down. Push that in. It's locked in. Now tuck my wires down into the mixer. Oh, before I do that, see how this has a mount on it, but the innovator does it. So I'm going to see if I can transfer the mount from the flex fader to my innovator. Give me one second. Uh, probably going to need a bigger screwdriver. It's two screws, as you see. One. Too. You, you know, you got to be firm but gentle when working with these screws because you don't want to strip them. First of all, it makes your equipment look horrible. And second of all, strip screws are almost like useless. So, you don't want to have to deal with that in case you ever have to take them out again. Once again, I'm putting that to the side in a safe spot so I don't lose it. I'm assuming that if this harness doesn't go on, which it will, but if this didn't go on here, there are harnesses that come, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think I put it to the side with the um, innovator, but that's not a concern since I got one. So boom, I'm going to lock it in with one screw. Hopefully I won't drop it with my big fingers. Let's see. Uh, it's my dear wife, Oopy. Oh, God. I'm not doing that while I'm working. <laughs> what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm recording this for YouTube so people know how to install this. I'm here. Yes, darling. Why? I, I just told you so people know how to install these. Otherwise, how would they know? Can you see me? Um, probably. <laughs> Say hello to my wife, everyone. The apple of my eye. I think I'm putting this in the back so here. Oh, you can't see me when it's over here. Alright, so tuck the wires down in there. Now I'm installing the innovator. It's the harness, like, is sort of recessed, so it really drops down in here, and, you know, the frame basically holds it in place, you know, so let me get the two screws. Remember I said the screws that hold this are longer than the screws that hold the faceplate, so let me start that one. Let me 
the sheets, so please be careful with the, with the threads. Side in. and two sided. Okay, so now we put the face plate on, and it sort of pops into place because there are two LEDs here one for channel A, one for channel B to let you know, and when you know when you turn on the mixer. So, but you'll, you'll feel like a little click. And it locks into place. Once again, I'm putting the screws in. These are the smaller screws for the faceplate. These are also machine screws, so try and be careful when installing them that you don't strip strip them or the threads um, of the mixer. Because there's nothing worse than that. And they're also like flush. So when you're running your finger across. I don't have a problem. I'm going to use the fader caps that came with the inner fader. So, see. see how that works for me. I got a little sticker in there too. Why I do not know. And I just pop that on there. And boom. I like mine's loose. You may like yours hard. You can pause. You can, <laughs> you can, um, before you install it, there is a way you can set the tension, um, for how, how you want your fader to move, um, all your, all the information comes with the diagram, so, you know, it's up to you how you want to hook it up. Let me test it, and let's see what we got here, Okay. Uh, turning my mixer on now, which is going to activate my Serato. That's all this stuff out of the way right now. So we can see what's going on. And it's off. It works. out of it in the future, but so far so good, I'm very happy. Please, DJ Shorty, if you feel it.